is that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalon. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! Uh, how do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too, but I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the Professor was working on some new super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> that's my birthday. No, Hunter, don't! What? Get off! Get off me, you useless buffoons! Why can't either of you? Where? No dragons. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my. I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush, go through the portal, you idiot. To all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly! No! Go! Crush! Get the orbs now! No! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I, uh, would have gone after him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now. No, Crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but Gulp will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, Shorty. Gulp, come here now. Destroy him and make sure it's painful. What? The roof? Gulp, get me out of here. So long. 
long dragon. What a wuss. Crypto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that, and that. Boo. Why you, you? <laughs> Gulp, we've finally made Avalar ours. <laughs> You've earned a special reward. Now. Gulp, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. You singed my cape. Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves. Say goodbye, Flame Breath. Go. Lunch time. Go. Finish him off and you can have all the fairies you can eat. I'm going to enjoy this. Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Alora, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you really miss being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Wow, this is great. Aren't you going to join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the winter tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so we can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Hey, where'd Laura go? I better follow her. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the dragon worlds from the super portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent! Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the super portal should work again. So, you thought you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. <laughs> this is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something! Quick! Uh, hey, give that back! Well, I tried. You little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! Hey, Shorty! Maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. 
I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go now? Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm, I most certainly do not. Hunter? Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. The eggs. The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Can you be one of them dragons then? Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Ooh. <laughs> 
Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussy cats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! Come back when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Listen carefully, you stupid girl. I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why haven't you disposed of that infernal dragon? I, I've tried to scare him off, your highness. But he's just not afraid of anything. Not afraid? Not afraid? Why have I been training you all these years? Use some magic! Here's a spell book. Whip up a monster and eliminate him. Uh... Kill him? I don't care what you do, you useless brat, as long as you get rid of him. This ought to do it. You, come here. Sergeant Bird, 9068. Awaiting orders, sir. Uh, I think you'll have to find your commanding officer for that. Hey, what are those things? These are the latest military hardware. DBX-9 rocket launchers, state-of-the-art. So why didn't you use them to escape? Because, because I have limited ammo, and I wanted to conserve it. For this. <laughs> Say, where'd you come from? I thought dragons had all been dead for a thousand years or something. Well, the rumors of our extinction were slightly exaggerated. We just wanted a little peace and quiet. Well, if it's peace and quiet you want, you should stay clear of my homeworld for a bit. I reckon I'll be blowing up Rhinox for weeks. Cheerio! We should help her. You're kidding, right? She nearly toasted you. Yeah, but she was aiming at you. No problem. It's a good thing for you Hunter was around. I can look after myself. Oh, sure you can. Would you like me to show you? Uh... Out of magic, huh? How about I give you a jump start? Ha! Huh. I'll deal with you later. Hey, why'd you have to scare her off? You bumbling, idiotic, worthless fool! I ask you to carry out one simple task, and you fail me. I should have known better than to rely on a child. But don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. These eggs can't be worth all this trouble. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever so slim chance of becoming a sorceress. Now, 
Watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. How would you like some dragon for lunch? <laughs> First rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! <coughs> 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 One more, perhaps? At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Hello. I thought you might be hungry. Thanks. Did you bring any chips? I'm sorry this happened, but I tried to warn you. I had to help Spyro rescue the eggs. You just don't understand. If we don't bring dragons back to this world soon, all our magic will be lost. The dragons used to live here? Yes. This was their original home. But a long, long time ago, the sorceress banished them to the other side of the world. She didn't realize the dragons were the source of all our magic. Maybe I could convince the dragons to come back, if you let me go. I'm sorry, I can't. That's it! I've had enough! I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters! <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings! Yes, yes! It will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them! Oh, yes! Smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crease them! But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> that doesn't matter! As long as I can still collect their wings! What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell, so I can live forever! Uh, uh, wait, wait a second, a, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible! I can't believe I ever listened to you! Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes! <coughs> Bianca, did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. Spyro, you've just defeated the sorceress, rescued the dragon eggs, and restored freedom to the lost dragon world. What do you plan to do next? Hmm? Perhaps a nice vacation in dragon shores? Hmm? <laughs> You're a real comedian sometimes, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You know, I still have to find the rest of the dragon eggs. Plus, Hunter seems to have disappeared again, so I should go make sure he's not in more trouble. You haven't seen him, have you? Huh? Me? Oh, no, no. If I do happen to encounter him, however, I will most certainly inform you immediately. It's a funny thing, Spyro. I adjusted Avalar's portals to take me to the Dragon Worlds, but somehow I ended up here. Maybe my coordinate tables are out of date. By a thousand years. That would explain why the book was so cheap. So, now that you're done saving the world again, are you going to visit me in Avalar? Sure, Alora, but I still have to find the rest of the eggs and, well, Hunter's disappeared again. Did you say, Hunter? Well, hey, I can help. I just saw him sneak off with... Uh, uh, -huh. uh Agent Nine, isn't that a Rhinoc over in those bushes? A uh, Rhinoc! Ooh, let me at him. You want a piece of me, Rhinoc boy? Eat laser punk! Come on now, no fair hiding. Uh, I'm sure Hunter is in good hands. But I mean, I'm sure he will turn up soon. I promise you'll come visit Avalar soon, okay? Now, how many times have I told you not to tease that moose? It was Billy's idea! Uh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Is that true, Billy? <laughs> Hold that thought, Billy. Spyro, great to see ya! Hi, Sheila. I've been looking for Hunter all day. Have you seen him? <laughs> Sorry, Spyro. Hunter made me promise not to tell you where they went. Say? <laughs> you didn't hear anything from me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Mwah.